In this video, I'm going to show you what happens to your OEM Windows 10 license when you transfer it to another system. But before that, help the channel by subscribing. Let's get into it. So a couple of months ago, my Mini ITX build was put on hold. I sent my ASRock uh, B450 Vitality ITX motherboard for RMA because there was a PCIe issue. Since it will take a few months before they can provide me a replacement, I decided to purchase the ASUS Tough B450M Plus. I was hoping that it will be a plug and play when I migrated my M.2 SSD to it. It did since everything is the same except for the motherboard. After I installed the Tough motherboards drivers and utilities, I noticed that the desktop background was weird. Then I realized I forgotten that my Windows 10 license was OEM. Just a quick trivia, OEM means these licenses are usually bought by system integrators because it's cheaper than its retail counterpart. It lessens their expenses in building a PC to earn more. Yes, it is totally legal. The caveat though, the license will expire when you switch motherboards. If you don't activate your Windows OS, any personalization settings and some apps and features will not work or be available. So the solution is to activate your Windows again. I already bought a new OEM license. Let's apply the product key together. If this video has helped you, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.